What's up? Welcome to the channel. I'm here at Universal Studios Hollywood in a very early morning, 7 a.m. for the early access for Super Nintendo World. And this is going to be a video for tips and tricks and how to do Super Nintendo World successfully. Uh, specifically, if you come in the morning, early in the morning, which I recommend coming in early in the morning to Universal Studios Hollywood to experience Super Nintendo World, you'll be able to do a lot of stuff really fast. One of the first things that you'll notice here is that you can get here early and do your shopping right away this is open and available and uh, there's no lines nobody here so this is uh, the boutique store outside of the land the land's gonna be that way and so this is pretty convenient here especially uh, coming in early and avoiding the crowds and you can do some early shopping and hey, if you want to get your Starbucks and go to Starbucks there's no lines right here as well Alright, so if we look right here at the wait time for Mario Kart, it's 25 minute wait. A lot of people think, yes, do this. Do this right away at the beginning. Negative. I recommend using the single rider line, but not going on the ride the first thing you get here. The first thing you get here is if you want to play the mini games, do those first before the lines get really long when the park opens and the bigger crowds get here. There's also meet and greet for Mario here. And the first Mario meet and greet is going to be at 8 o'clock. That's going to be uh, an hour after the early access. So if you want to get yourself in line and be one of the first early ones to meet Mario and Luigi, this is it right here. So another thing you want to do when you get here, as soon as you enter the land, find the sign for the join the uh, waiting list for Toto Cafe. If you want to eat at the restaurant, go ahead and get your reservation. Right now, because we have early access, they are not filling up very fast. You can even get a reservation for oh, about maybe an hour or two hours after uh, 7 o'clock early access. The earliest reservation that you can probably get is something about an hour or two hours after the early access time started. So you have a lot of good chances of getting it. You can even get something for later in the afternoon. And there's going to be plenty of bookings this early or in the morning for early access at Super Nintendo World. So we're going to go ahead and try one of the first games before we get on Mario Kart The Ride. Knock these out right now. There's not a lot of crowds. And uh, we're going to do this one first. There's barely anybody here. So we did a good job on that one. We got the hard mode and uh, I will be making a video about what is the hard mode on these games later on. The hard mode is after you play these games once, you're going to activate hard mode and you're going to hear Bowser Jr. laughing. <laughs> That's hard mode. So I got lucky that I completed that successfully. We're going to get on the Piranha Plant and we're timing ourselves right now how long we can do this before we get on Mario Kart with the early access. down I got one more to go and then I can go to Bowser Jr's uh, castle so uh, waiting here for the for this mini game right here I go look at the Mario Kart line and there's still nobody for the single rider right there or not a lot of people even going into the standby so I'm still good with time on Mario Kart so one thing right here for Bowser's challenge uh, this is not open currently uh, maybe they're gonna open it as soon as park opens 8 o'clock so we'll see even if I don't get to do this right after finishing uh, this game right here, uh, I'll just head over to Mario Kart and then I can do this. I'll have my three keys. I can do this after.
All right, so I just did hard mode on that. I got really lucky. I wasn't hope. I was hoping I wasn't gonna get a hard mode, but I was able to do complete that one in hard mode. So let's go on to Mario Kart, and we're gonna go to the a single rider line right now because the park. Let me check out the time. It's about six minutes to eight o'clock till the bigger crowd show up. So let's go take advantage of that. We could probably even do standby. Let's see how much the standby is. So not bad. Standby is only still 25 minutes. Uh, that's still pretty good. And we can uh, experience, if you want to experience the whole queue for the ride, then go ahead, you can go ahead and do that. And you still have plenty of time. This is still a really good time. But if you really want to go even better than that, do the single rider line and I'll take you to that right now. And once you enter, you make a right right here and you're going to see the entrance right here, single rider. You have a little, uh, uh, what's it called, a test right here, test seat right here. So just head up here, head to these stairs. Look at the standby line, there's nobody in the standby line, but in the single rider line, single rider line is also empty here. Got some views of the land for pictures. Now let's look at the crowd here. This is all the early access crowd right here. These are all the people that paid for the hour early access to the park, to Super Nintendo World uh, Hollywood. Uh, sometimes the park opens at 8, sometimes 9. The early access is always one hour before opening of the park. So as you can see right here, we have all of the standby line. Look at all these people right here in the standby line that experience the queue. But we are in the single rider line and there's nobody here. Right here I get my, my headset for my VR glasses. And then uh, I'm being directed over here to my left. And then now I got this whole lane for myself. Let's see how many people will be joining me here by the ride boarding area. Look at that, there's nobody. So I just got off Mario Kart and I was exited out here on the uh, One Up uh, gift shop, and you got some new shirts here. But what's cool about this, if you get here, also early access, there's barely anybody here. As soon as it, the park opens and later in the afternoon, this store is gonna be packed. So right now, uh, take advantage if you do get the early access, come to Super Nintendo World early at park opening. Take advantage of the shopping because there's not a lot of people. They probably even have items that'll sell out later on in the day. So also another tip for you guys coming to Super Nintendo World Hollywood. So I just got out of the ride and there's still nobody in the single rider line. The wait time is up to 60 minutes. The park is already open. It's 12 minutes after park opening and the wait time for Super Nintendo, for Mario Kart is already at an hour wait and that's only going to go climb uh, much higher than it already is right now. So for the entire early access hour, the wait time was about 25 minutes. And now I don't think we're going to see that 25 minutes until maybe an hour or maybe if we're lucky two hours before park closes tonight. So definitely the standby line looks like they're already getting some people up there packed up. But the single rider line still is not that bad. It's not bad at all, actually. And that will actually have a long line later on in the afternoon as people will figure out about the single rider line. Now that we did Mario Kart the ride, all the mini games, we can actually go to Bowser Jr's castle. There is no wait time right here, even after the park opens. It's 15 minutes early. So let's go ahead and do the challenge. About an hour and 30 minutes, the, today's early action started at 7, the park opened at 8, and about an hour and 30 minutes I was able to do Mario Kart, I was able to do the mini games and Bowser Dreams Challenge. And now I'm gonna head inside here for my reservation here at Toadstool Cafe. Thank you for watching, hit that like button, in the meantime I'll see you guys next time.